what's up family welcome back to utl tv and today right as i'm going through a lot of these vlogs you get what i'm saying um i done watched a lot of these memphis dudes we're gonna speak on a lot of them dudes as well man that's one of the seven cities of salem as well man um that's that's a city that got a death curse over it as well man you feel me memphis is is them boys over there is on demon time you feel me? It's a it's a demonic energy that's running around that city as well, right? I was just watching the vlog with the EBG dudes. Like, them dudes is out of their goddamn mind. But listen, right? Back to the Chicago shit, man. As I'm watching these, these young dudes, because... And the reason I'm speaking on Chicago, because these niggas is the most vocal, right? We speaking... these. This is where the most murders happen. This is where a lot of the crime happen. Chicago, Memphis, you know, all of these different cities, LA, you know, um, and a lot of these dudes are vocal. You, these are the dudes that's on the internet spreading all of the business and putting all of the rumors out there and, 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 and running off at the mouth, this and the dead and just disrespecting the black community as a whole, man. These are the dummies. So that's why the fuck, that's why I'm speaking on it. And I come from it. You feel me? So listen, as I'm watching these young dudes, like Vine 1700, that, that dude is a goofy, man. He he is on his way into a jail cell or an early grave, man. And when they catch him, they going to they gonna stand over that boy, man. They going to do him bold, man, because that dude, he has no moral compass at all, right? But as I'm watching these dudes, him, uh, the dude Lil Jeff, uh, uh, Q50, I've seen him on his story. He talking about he... He about to go in combat mode and he he ready to crash out and all of this stuff. You um the dude JB Ben Laden, uh Bando KD, uh Fonzo, um, you know, all of these young dudes, bro, as I'm watching these young dudes, they all wanna be like King Von, man. They all wanna be like King Von. They all want to talk about how many bodies they got they all want to diss the dead and they think that they can get rich and they think that they can actually live a successful life with this type of demonic energy surrounding their electromagnetic body their aura field right they think they can actually live a a a, a prosperous life doing this shit right and it's really short-lived. If you pay attention to these dudes, all of them want to be like King Bomb, man. They damn sure don't want to be like no Chief Keith. Chief Keith got his money and got the fuck on. He didn't stick around in the hood, right? He didn't continue to diss the dead. Now he did diss a little took. You know what I'm saying? He was dissing Tuka and whatnot. And, st and still do here and there. But I'm talking about, y'all know what I'm talking about. Just over whooping with the dissing, man. You feel me? Um, Talking about murders and just, it's just a constant negative energy, man. And like I told y'all, it's a demonic spell that got a hold over these boys' mind. And they use these dudes like Lil Dirt. They use these dudes like King Von, you know? Um, You got to understand who... The fucking chairman of the music at YouTube is. It's Lior Cohen. He been the motherfucker been pushing all of this shit out. He he the one pushing the green light. That's why this shit is coming out like this. Right? Every time y'all you look up, you see a another video with a hundred dude, a hundred little niggas in it with guns with two, three hundred thousand views. Right? But let you come on there rapping positive if you might get two hundred views. Y'all understand what I'm saying, man? This shit is, is by design. This shit is by design, man. Y'all got to pay attention to this shit. They put these rappers in place, like Chief Keith, Lil Dirt, King Von, right? So that the youth can idolize these boys, and, that's, and it, it, it sparks something, right? We are tribal people, man. This is just what we do. We 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 are tribal people, man. And during this age right now, and and, and during B 
because of social engineering, man, because of the social engineering that they've done, done to our people, man, they got a lot, they done turned a lot of the young boys into man worshipers. They worship each other, man. They man worshipers and they and they idolizers. They are idolaters, man. That's that's all they are, man. They idolize uh, um material, they idolize the, the, the money, they the rappers, they everything that has to do with this matrix, that has to do with the demi urge, that have to do with what Satan has offered them, right? Pay attention. This is the stuff that they hold in value. They don't hold love, unity, family, none of that shit. They don't hold that up to, on a pedestal. They hold the money, the guns, the jewelry, right? They don't even hold the women up in, in, in a pedestal. So let's, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, a lot of people get in here and they like, oh, man, um, Chicago was worse back in the day, man. It might have been a little, it, it, it definitely was going down, but not like it is now, man. Not like it is now, man. Y'all can keep trying. Oh, it was gangster music back then, and it was Chicago been like this, man. No, man. You have to understand history and overstand history to know what the fuck is going on right now before you come in here speaking. Just because you live there, that don't mean you know shit about it. You don't know nothing about the warrior tribes coming from off of that land. You don't know that that land was one of the seven cities. You don't know that that land is an energy vortex for our people. You don't know that about Chicago. So don't sit this because you've been living there and you haven't done no research about no fucking Chicago. You don't know about the land that you're standing on. Right? Just like Memphis, just like L.A., Vegas, all of these different places, man. But yeah, I just had to get on here, man, and just say that, man. A lot of these young dudes is following the steps behind King Von, man. And they gonna go out just like King Von. Guarantee it. I'm, you, you, we watching it happen one by one. And hopefully this shit can kind of, this shit that happened with Lil Jeff and him, I hope this shit can kind of stop the dude, the little dude, Von 1700, from just totally crashing out, you know? But yeah, I just had to get in here, man, and just speak on that, man. Uh, a lot of these dudes, man, they 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 just wannabes, man, and they they jumping off the porch late into an early death. They jumping off the porch late into an early death, man. But y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe, man. We're going to keep speaking the real. We're going to keep enlightening the youth. We're going to keep pushing this message out to the streets. It is what it is, man. Fuck them.